have these questions in your exam and this is a part of your syllabus see whenever an angle theta is inclined with the axis suppose this is a graph which we are getting a straight line graph is there whenever you calculate slope of the graph that is tan theta remember this this will help us throughout whenever we are calculating the slope of the graph you will get a lot slope of the graph slope of the graph that is actually tan theta when we are talking about so suppose let's start with positive slope so positive slope means what positive slope means tan theta is coming positive because slope always related with tan theta this means tan theta is coming positive fine right? if your tan theta is coming positive your slope will automatically be positive such as this example here the angle is acute so your angle is acute you can conclude the fact that tan theta is positive slope will be positive just opposite to this suppose the angle is obtuse i hope you all know what is meaning of obtuse and acute acute is less than 90 obtuse is more than 90 like 120 degrees obtuse angle 60 degrees acute angle negative slope means these types of graphs where your theta is obtuse so because of obtuse angle those who have value negative like uh, sin 120 if you take cos 120 if you take these values are in negative so your tan theta is also negative and the slope of the graph is also negative fine right? the slope of the graph is also a third case you can get where the slope is neither acute nor acute the slope is zero there isn't any slope in the graph which we obtain means no angle is there angle is zero this is the third case which we see where slope is zero means your value of tan theta is zero this is how you start the basics of the graph fine this is how your graphical concepts will be done quickly now note down this then we'll start with types of slopes fine we have to study types of slopes note it down I'm gonna scroll.
Danan. Yeah. Okay, next thing. Now, uh, see types of slopes. So, this type, the slope that is present, that can also be constant, that can also be variable. See, if I give you the example of this graph, look here. If I draw a line here, there, let's say this angle that was obtained, this angle is theta. Now I have taken a line. I have marked this line as the x-axis. Now I have taken this angle. This is also coming as theta. Let's take another point. This is also coming as theta. So slope we usually represent it with the letter M. Slope is represented with this letter M. So M, let's say this is A point, this is B point, this is C point. You have three points over here, A, B, and C. So slope of A is equal to slope of B is equal to slope of B. How can I say this? Because all the values of tan theta are coming same. It's not like you are having theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 as variables. All the values of angles are coming same. And when the angles are same, tan theta will be same. And when tan theta is same, your slopes are same. So such slopes we call as constant slopes. So whenever in your exam also you're having a particular question, you have to identify whether the slope is constant or variable by looking at the angle. This is the way you can calculate. Now, this is constant. Suppose you have variable slope. It can be increasing slope, it can be decreasing. Both the things can happen. So again, same thing. See, suppose this is an example of increasing slope. Just take, let's say I have taken this point. This is some angle theta. You, by your calculation on your observation, only tell me, aren't all these angles different? See, values of angles is increasing. Values of the angles are increasing. This was very less. Look here. Let's say this is A point, this is B point, this is C point. Theta C is the greatest. Theta B is there and least you have as theta A. A, B, C, if you see, this is the, they are different. This is theta A, this is theta B, this is theta C. You can see theta C is getting increased. B was less, A was less. This is getting increased. So your same thing will occur in slope also. Slope will be C. If MC is the greatest, slope will be greatest for the C point. Slope will be lesser for this and least for A. So this is your increasing slope. This is how the slope increases. Coming to the decreasing slope. If we talk about this decreasing slope, same thing. See, take this angle. Take this angle. This is the first angle that we are considering, theta A. Let's say this is B point. This I am considering as theta B. Now, again, I'll take an axis theta C. Do you see now the angles are getting lesser? They are getting smaller. This is the point C. Theta A is the greatest than theta B than theta C. So it means slope of A is greater than slope of P than slope of C. This is the conclusion. This is how you analyze your increasing graphs or decreasing graphs. Apart from these increasing or decreasing and variable graphs, you have the concept of, among graphs only, you have the concept of, see, graphs based upon equations. We have seen so many equations, right? V is equal to U plus AT, S is equal to UT plus half AT square, V square minus A square is equal to 2S. Do you see the difference in the powers of this? V is equal to U plus AT. 
there isn't any power. Power is just one. What type of equations are these when the power is one? We call them as linear equations. I'll show you it. See, linear equations means your y is directly proportional to x. Best example, all of you have studied it recently only. Example will be v is equal to u plus a t. You can see variation of velocity with time. Velocity's power is 1, time's power is 1. This is linear equation. In lean, this is the most important topic. From here, your main part of the class 11th will start. All were the basics before this. The slopes which we had seen, zero slope, positive slope, negative slope, those were the, just the basics. Straight line you will get when you have linear equation. If you have quadratic equation, for example, this equation all of you have already studied, S is equal to ut plus half at square. Graph between S is 1, but the power of time, this is 2. So this is a quadratic equation where your variable, one variable is proportional to square of another variable. Y is directly proportional to square of X. This is a quadratic equation. It can be a parabola like this, or it can be a parabola like this. Both are valid. It can be like this also. It can be like this also. Both are valid. But wherever you see them, you can conclude the fact that this is quadratic equations graph. So if you are given this equation, you're getting such types of equation, use the above graph. Fine, parabolic. Now, when to use the increasing one or decreasing one that we have studied? You know the cases, no? How to draw the increasing graph and decreasing graph just before this, we had studied this. One more thing, one graph is also present. Apart from straight line graph and parabolic graph, you had a third type of graph, which is hyperbolic graph. Hyperbolic. Hyperbolic graph comes when there is inverse relation, where your y is inversely proportional to x. Fine, you don't have such equation right now in your syllabus, right now, which we have covered. But wherever you see one variable, if you see velocity is inversely proportional to time, any quantity, you will draw this type of graph where one quantity is inversely proportional to of other quantity. Now, if suppose I have y is directly proportional to 1 by x, one I have y is inversely proportional to x square. Another, I have y is inversely proportional to 1 by x cube. Will I draw different graphs? For one, I'll draw a straight line. For one, I'll draw a hyperbola or what? For all of them, you'll draw a hyperbolic graph only. It's just that with variation of the powers, as the power increases, your graph becomes steeper. Power is 2, it becomes steeper. Power is 3, it becomes more steep. Like steeper, steeper, it increases. This is how the difference comes. But finally, it is actually hyperbolic graph only when you follow inverse relation. All right, note down these basic points from here. Till here, you have written zero slope. From here, write it down. And again, I'm repeating, I have been noticing this fact for all of you while I am teaching, while I am speaking. That time, put your pen down. Try to understand what I'm saying. After when I have taught the particular topic, I give you sufficient time. And I, according to you people only, I keep on scrolling. So at that particular time, write down, take your time and let me know. All right. Otherwise, you'll miss on the point. So do not write it while I'm seeing.
Jana. And I'm going to go back up. Then um...
Done, ma'am. Mama, can you wait? Can you wait? Yes, uh, Martin, you're asking something? No, ma'am. Ma well, I just want you to wait. I'm writing right now. Above part? This part? No, ma'am. I'm writing right now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm done. Now, coming to your actual content, which you have, position versus time graph, you have velocity versus time graphs, acceleration versus time graphs, graphs will be applied like this. So all the portions we have studied were the basics of graph. Without that, you'll not be able to understand any graph. Those are your basics, which you study till class 10th. But because it is not given separately in any of the lessons, that's why we sometimes forget it. Now, this is concept remains the same, but you have to understand slope or tan theta will be what? What we have studied till now, that if suppose this is theta, this is some angle theta. So slope of the graph is given by tan theta. And how do we write tan theta? Perpendicular divided by base. What is the perpendicular? This is the perpendicular. This is the base. What is your perpendicular depicting? The position. What is the base depicting? The time. What is distance divided by time? Which quality do we get? Speed. Speed. Exactly. It means x versus t. When you have so x by t, that gives you velocity. Means when you are actually calculating the slope, continuously we have been discussing about slope, slopes, zero slope, positive slope, negative slope, increasing slope, decreasing, constant, everything. What exactly was it? It was actually the velocity in terms of position and time graph. It is actually the velocity with which of which we are talking about. Why? Because you can see tan theta, that is your perpendicular divided by base is actually giving you the velocity. So in your exams, if you have x versus time, t means position versus time graph, and you are asked the velocity, then you can simply do x divided by t, whatever values are given in the graph. But this is very easy. Will the questions always be like this? Questions will be very confusing. They'll change some, some values of it. Times value will be changed. X value will be changed. Suppose if I give you a condition, position and time both are zero and value, v, is, v has to be positive. Let me show you this. See. Suppose I give you this condition that time and position, these are zero. Fine. This is x versus t. And v has to be positive. This, these types of questions are there. You have to draw these graphs. How will you identify how to draw these graphs? See, x is zero, t is zero. One thing for sure, it is starting from origin. Clear? T is also 0, X is also 0. This is starting from origin. Nextly, V is positive. What was V? Slope. Slope positive. Positive slope graph we have studied. Straight line where all the values of theta were acute. Remember, here we had seen the positive. Huh. Positive slope. This is how the positive slope looks like. If you are starting from origin, it would look like this. If you are not starting from origin, it would look like this. When your theta is positive, 
because ultimately we have to find slope as positive and what is our slope v velocity so everything is being satisfied over here right so this means this will become a straight line graph that has to start from the origin so here 0 comma 0 your origin is also present velocities that is slope is coming positive you can check theta is 0 slope is coming positive and t is also 0 x is also 0 you have the conditions you will be able to you will draw it it's not difficult but it's just that you have to have one practice just practice it once today try to practice it because in any ways your exam sessions are going on so accordingly manage but if you get time today try to practice it nextly uh, what is the case case is x is positive all right x is positive time is still zero means if let's say this is x versus time graph time is still zero means time is still zero fine but x isn't zero x will be having some value let's say here that value is that value will be given to you in the exam right now we are just practice, practicing you should know how to plot graphs in every situation right t was zero so we came here right when x was positive x will be here and v positive means instead of starting from the origin right now our graph is starting at a value that is x as positive like three meters suppose this value is three meters here the value is three meters so our graph is being drawn from three meters like this will be the graph look here slope is still positive if you calculate theta slope is still positive if you look the value of x is coming this is some positive value of x time is zero here and v is also coming positive that is slope is positive done this is how you draw the graphs uh two more cases i want you to see This says that, okay, t is 0, x is 0, but velocity is negative. What have we studied regarding negative velocities? We have studied that. How do we draw the slope? Theta has to be obtuse. x versus time. Theta has to be obtuse. Obtuse means more than 90 degree. Negative slope. Our slope is negative. Whenever it is velocity from x versus t, position versus t, time understand quickly that velocity is negative uh, slope is negative now slope is negative theta has to be obtuse see class if i draw it like this suppose if i draw it like this will it be correct is it starting from origin because now my it is x is zero but t is not zero here t is having some value but we cannot take so what we'll do we'll draw it on the opposite side because that is only possible this is the origin. If I draw it like this, in any plane like this, what will happen? This will be acute only. So, graph will go here. Graph will go here. You can extend it further. You can write it as x dash, x and x dash time. This is how the graph will look. Obey by the instruction. Abide by all the instructions. Next case, last case is x is positive again time is zero and velocity is negative so x versus time graph see time is zero so switching to the axis as zero fine x is positive some value of x which must be positive like plus three meters plus five meters plus six meters like this and then we are having the negative velocity means slope has to be now negative this is how we draw the negative slope theta is still obtuse if i extend it you can see theta is still obtuse right this is how we draw the graphs note down all these four cases understand these these are very important this from here
मैम कैन गो बैक अप प्लीज
Uh, see, position time graph, when you have when the velocity changes, when slope is variable and the graph is curved in uniformly accelerated motions. See, when the slope increases, right now we were talking when the slope was constant, right? Velocity was either positive, velocity was, or it was negative. If the slope is increasing, so whatever you have studied, no, the increasing slope graph, this graph, this is it, x versus t, increasing slope. And similarly, if velocity is decreasing, earlier what we have studied there, velocity was constant. If velocity is decreasing, velocity versus time. So it would be like this. Now, uh, okay, quickly note it down. Then we'll start with velocity time graph. This is now easier to understand in, because you have already studied one thing. But quick, quickly note it down and text me done so that I can start with velocity time. Can you tell us more about that um, velocity change? I know. How do you write this? Yes, yes, note it down. This part also.
so velocity versus time graph now see all the, these things are very similar when you are calculating the slope now tan theta that is velocity divided by time so what would be the slope of velocity and time graph v by t what is velocity divided by time acceleration acceleration so the way we were having velocities in the previous cases now you will be having acceleration one thing class one thing see if two quantities are getting divided their slope is given by the third quantity like velocity by time so slope gives you acceleration suppose it is opposite v is equal to acceleration into time is given acceleration versus time graph is there then what will you do you calculate the area under graph instead of this this entire term you would have calculated had it been a versus t and that would have given you the velocity same thing goes for position time graph as well in position time graph x is equal to velocity into time see whenever there is division like v by t x by t the quantity gives you slope right slope is calculated by division and the new quantity when it is multiplied is given by the area under curve this is given by area under the curve this is how you will calculate x is equal to v into t fine this is how you will calculate suppose this is given so entire triangular area half into base into height like this right now we are focusing on the slope so same thing same cases slope of vt graph gives you acceleration and acceleration gives displacement area gives displacement slope gives you if you have velocity versus time graph their slope that is v divided by t will give you acceleration its area that is acceleration into time that gives you displacement a uh, sorry velocity into time gives you displacement right so this is what has been written a uh, uniform motion again area is zero slope is zero velocity you have to find out so these things now you will be able to relate this is the same thing only that we have studied this is a uh, time this is velocity versus time graph that we have acceleration is zero slope is zero velocity is if velocity is positive right your velocity is positive but acceleration is zero so if acceleration is zero this is how you get zero slope we have studied zero slope second case over here this is saying slow v is negative but acceleration is still zero velocity is negative but acceleration is still zero so here what you will do this is the graph no uh, velocity versus time now you will draw it here means this is y y dash so it will still be zero but just draw it with velocity as zero now you can see this content is negative here this was coming positive and time is zero in both the cases this is how you can relate it and i think one more case is left okay these separate cases yes the separate cases are left which we had seen in the earlier case so now the way distance and time were zero and v was positive now you have velocity versus time as zero so this is v versus t so how will you draw it velocity is zero so come to the axis origin time is zero come here acceleration is positive means slope is positive this is how you get you get your theta here similarly acceleration is negative you have velocity versus time graph so acceleration is negative and velocity is positive in this case right velocity is positive in this case time is zero we have come here velocity is positive we'll come here look positive value of velocity acceleration is negative means slope is negative we have drawn it the way we have been drawing it next uh, see time is zero velocity is negative acceleration is positive look here time is zero right 
velocity is negative so look here first we come here origin time is zero so we will draw nothing on the x axis come here velocity is negative so we will come here downwards we have come to the negative portion of the graph and since acceleration is positive in any ways you have to draw the acute angle slope this is acute angle this gives you positive slope you have now obtained positive slope so that shows that acceleration is also positive this is how you draw all the graphs right quickly note it down from here this you have written no huh, from here Uh, can you go back up? No, I'm done.
Okay, class. So all those who have completed, you can leave now. On just one question, I want to practice with you regarding graphs that I'll do on Tuesday only. Rest otherwise, this lesson is over, and we'll start with vectors. Okay, class. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.